First question is from M. Lou Weber. Working from home, getting steps in is much more of a challenge. If I have an hour at the gym, should I lift the entire time or sacrifice 15 to 20 minutes to get some steps in for the day? What serves me more? Mm, okay, so they both have value. Oh, um, the weights are going to serve you more. Yeah, if you had to pick one, pick the resistance training. You're still being active while doing the resistance training, but you're also simultaneously sending a very beneficial adaptation signal to the body, which is build muscle, which burns more calories, makes you more insulin sensitive, balances out your hormones more. It's just going to serve you better. Now, that being said... Uh, you should do that and add steps if possible because well, being yeah. active is just good. The only way I see this this question even makes sense is if somebody's like on this like very strict time restraint, right? right? Like they have, they have lunch. They have a lunch break and that's when they normally work yeah. out and so it's like 12 to 1. That's They have to get in and get out. Uh, if, if, I'm, if I have, and I've had clients like this, so they're, they follow a resistance training program in that window and then I try and get them to, hey, when you get home from work, how about go for, before you just stop your day, mm -hmm. go for a half hour walk mm -hmm. or extend your walk with your dog or, you know, walk with park, your spouse. Park really far away and like yeah. have more strategies that you can implement where it promotes more activity in, in different parts of your day. Yeah, because I, would, I, would, I wouldn't ever allow a client give me the uh, either or. Like it's yeah. like, I'm either going to do this or I'm going to do that. Which one? I'm only going to do one. It's like, no, that they both should be in your lifestyle. Yeah, so I actually had a few clients like this. They were executives and they were very like, no, I only have the time to come see you. You, and then the rest of the time, I'm at my desk, and that's it. And I actually did a couple experiments with them. And I said, let's try something. I said, let's try something because – and they were very science-heavy kind of people. So I pulled up studies to show that productivity improves through activity. So I said, you're obviously very serious about your job. I said, let's do a test. Here's what I want you to do. Every hour, take a 10-minute activity break. So every hour, take 10 minutes and just go for a walk. Walk the office, walk around outside. At the end of the day – see if you've been more productive or less productive and how do you feel? And every single person that did this said that they got more done, they were more creative, and they had a better day at work. Mm -hmm. So it's funny because taking the time out to do that, you think I'm losing that that time, but the reality is you get you know more time in terms of productivity and creativity. Because when you're working, it's not about... I mean, we've, we, you know, we've all owned companies. I don't care how many hours you clock in. I, I care about what you did. That's right. You know, right. so yeah. if, the outcome. Yeah. So you eight hours, but you did one hour work of, worth of work. You're fired. Isn't there, a, there's a, there's a study they did on that, right? Didn't they do a, a I don't know if it was a survey or an actual study of like uh, the average eight hour person that works yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the amount of productivity is Dude, actually like, yeah, two. I wonder what that, the average of like how long you can, you can. You keep your focus on one specific thing. That's why you're, you're seeing a lot of success with some of these companies since COVID that did like, you know, even before COVID happened, you saw some, I think Microsoft did it where they, they got rid of Fridays where mm -hmm. it's a four-day four day work week where you're working longer hours and they found an increase in productivity. Because mm -hmm. I think the average person who works the five, eight-hour day shift I think it. I think it said two. You just fill it up with fluff. Yeah, you're on. You're you're surfing social media instead. Yeah, when I'm when I'm writing or doing something like that requires me to sit down and be intense. If I get up and do a trigger session in you know every you know couple hours or whatever, mm -hmm. way more productive, way more productive. Oh. I get way more done. So Especially it's like, when I'm stuck and 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 I'm in a train of thought and I can't move forward or like I need to come up with something. I have to go for a walk and then it just you know it takes some time. Dude, but it comes movement to movement. Uh, stimulates uh, creative thought. It 100% does. It does. Think about your best ideas. It also increases mood, too. I mean, be way better mood after you move around. Absolutely. Think about some of your best ideas. They usually come from you moving and yeah. then kind of being present. So you're there in the shower or you're walking and you're just kind of looking around, not distracted. Like, oh, man, I got this idea. Or oh, I, I figured out this thing. I don't and know. The shitter's pretty good for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you in the Lots moment? Lots of brilliant yeah, ideas yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you in the moment when you're taking uh, a poop? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I started a few companies in there, dude. <laughs> Adam, this new company's the shit. They weren't successful, but yeah. yeah. You, have no, you have no idea, Sal. Yeah. They went right in the toilet, but it's it, all good. It is the shit. Yeah.